Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the video, wherever you all are watching. Um, I tend to upload my videos to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So wherever you're watching, thank you for tuning in. This video was a unboxing of my fall haul. And in this video today, I wanted to actually use some of the products that I bought just to show you guys how they perform, how they look. And I really want to just play around with some makeup. What's the occasion? I want to look cute. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start with some PR items I'm really excited to try. Ruby Kisses. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this brand, but you will find them a lot in your local beauty supply store. I'm talking like, you know, the hood beauty supply store, okay? The hair, the hair hair beauty supply store. So I was really excited to open this package. I didn't even know it was coming. I love that even more. Um, so they sent me some really cool items here. Um, number one, they sent me this cup, but I already used the cup. The cup was so cute. So I can't, sh I don't have that to show you guys, but they sent me one of their brushes, which I'm really going to, I'm really excited for this because I'm going to use it for my contour today. It is the Ruby Kisses Flat Kabuki Brush. I will pop that up in this area here so you guys can get a better view of it but i will be using that today so thank you shout out to ruby kiss ruby kisses by kiss for sending me this i'm also going to be using their go brow brow and eyeliner i'm going to be using this it's been such a long time since i've actually used a pencil for brows so i'm really excited to try this and it's a liner so you can use it as brow and eyeliner so hey um it's water resistant duo pencil hmm, i'm really feeling this i'm loving it okay and it comes with a bonus sharpener it says it naturally fills shapes and defined blendable and long lasting and it's in dark brown which is perfect okay so thank you but this is the most exciting one the, the exciting product for me they sent me this um 24k gold gold oil lip gloss y'all so i was gonna weigh and be like okay i'm gonna put it on when you know i get on here but i couldn't help myself and i was so happy that i actually like tried this like just wearing it around the house y'all this gloss is so thick and juicy okay let me not say so thick because some of you guys freak out about super thick lip glosses but i kind of like thicker glosses especially if they're clear glosses i like my glosses to be a, just a tad on the thicker side um but i really don't mind as long as it's juicy gloss and this one is really really juicy and i love the gold flakes in this i don't know if you guys can see but there are gold flakes in this gloss and when i put it on i was just like mm, my lips felt so freaking good so we're going to be using those products today and i'm going to be starting with this brow i'm going to do like a natural quick beat i'm going to try to get this done as fast as possible so that you know i don't have to feel it as much so here is the pencil and we're going to actually just warm this up on my hand first let's see how i like this Ooh, i'm liking this already okay all right like i said y'all it's been so long since i've used a brow pencil like this so i just want to use it for y'all okay all right nice it's not as dark as i thought it would be but that's not a bad thing because i can work it Ooh. And that is done. Let me go. Let me go check the oven, y'all, before my food burns. I do tend to overdo it towards the middle, like right here. But then what I'll do is I'll take my pinky finger and kind of wipe right there. And that's perfect i'm gonna also use my tried and true you guys know i love this god i'll probably be using this forever the soft brown anastasia beverly hills 
um, brow powder duo. Only one side of this has made a dent, y'all. God, it's just crazy how it's nearly impossible to use all of that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and use this because I did say this is good for brows and we're gonna use it for our brows today. Let me see, is it light? Ugh, I don't know. Mm, it could work. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. So I'm gonna dig into this shade right here. take this shade right here this shade I love to put on the top of my brows like for a natural look yep that's it Brows are done, now we're moving on into the face. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I'll use that orange shade. That I told you guys I love so freaking much. I'm gonna use that just right here in this area. I don't even really like to use it underneath my eyes. I don't feel like I have that much discoloration except for like right here. But I love this because it's like the perfect orange color correction for me. Like it's perfect. It's not too deep. The other one I have from LA Girl Cosmetics, it's too orange for me. And I could kind of see it and it just doesn't. I was very excited to get this NC45 foundation. So we are going to use it right now. Should have got a pump, but we'll make it work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up getting a pump. Ooh. No, what y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Y'all think NC45 is still a good shade for me because it's been a long time since I've worn NC45. So I'm hoping I got the right shade. Next for concealer, did I buy any new concealer? I bought the Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't want to use that because I'm going to use that on my clients. And I've already used that before, and I know it works really, really good. Like, it, it really just does. But I'm going to use this. This is probably my more favorite. This is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind. I really love applying this i love this sponge it's like bomb i love how like it keeps you from putting on the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that it kind of if you bend it the wrong way the sponge will 
move a little weird and product will kind of come out of the side sponge is from aesthetica i mentioned it in a in another video i do love it it's one of my favorite All right, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Sticks stick in um, foundation. This is a foundation stick, not a contour stick, but I use it as my contour. It's one of my favorite things to contour with, um, and I will be using this. Let's see how much I got left. I only got a little bit left, so it's almost that time to re-up, but um, I love it. It's the perfect shade, and it's only like, what, five, six dollars? and it gives me exactly what I want. Products. Oh, perfect. Now we're gonna break this baby out. <laughs> so exciting. Now, I'm pretty sure you can use this with, I'm sure you could use this. It says best matches with liquid cream foundation face primer and bb cream so right i would use this to apply my um primer with but i'm gonna use this for contour we're gonna see how what i can get Ooh. oh shit I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm gonna use something a little bit less. <laughs> um, I need something a little softer than that, especially since the foundation is very drying oh my god i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make this work y'all So I'm going back in with the Sigma F50, this dual fibery brush. And what I'm trying to do is just soften the contour because it was a little hard to blend. And I, and I don't think it was the brush. I think it was the fact that I have a super matte situation going on on a dry face. So, okay. A little bit of this over here. Kind of cut my crease. Cut that real quick. Go back down on the nose. A little bit into the forehead. Make sure I'm not, I'm not mad. Okay. Ooh, I fixed that. I wanted to use another product from the unboxing, this KVD Locket setting powder. I'm not going to use this. Not, I put a little bit at the top, like in the cap right here. 
And I'm gonna take this brush, this Juvia's Place tapered brush. This came in a set. I really love how the bristles work for baking powder. I'm not going to bake. This is a Zoreo Power Powder 801. This is from Amazon. You can find the store in my the a link to my shop on my website, Glam Stylist XOXO, or it's in the description box below. So I focused more of that setting powder underneath my eye. Now I'm about to just go over my whole entire face with it. NC45, the unboxing powder I just got that I decided I'm just going to keep. I'm going to focus that underneath using the same powder brush as the uh, using the same powder brush or using the same brush for my trans or my setting powder. I'm going to focus this area on the smaller areas of my face and the all over the face let me see how I look hopefully I don't look crazy because I'm like going really fast y'all I look all right <laughs> I look like I'm rushing but it'll come together no filter sheer press powder in deep dark I'm going to use this as my contour Oh, and this is a morph brush, which is perfect because I am going to use, I only contour just right here with powder. I do not go all over. Um, I'm also going to use this Morphe Badger brush. I've had this brush for years, okay? This entire set is really, really good. Check it out. I will link it in the description box below because that's how much I love it. I hope they still have it. They should have it. It's one of their really classic sets. Um, but I love it because I'm also going to be using the Morph 8D. You guys know I was like obsessed. Oh my God, I forgot that there was contour shades in here that I can use. Hmm. Mm. Mm. okay mm. I missed that mark all right so we're just going to use this blush right here this pink one we'll put that right there Oops, I love it I actually got two of them but this one is like my more neutral fave I'm going to use this brush right here to apply because I do not want a beaming highlight. I really don't care today. It is the Party Clean Makeup Powder Blush Brush. They These shades have no specific shade number to them. But, oh, I love it. I'm using this shade right here. This, this gorgeous bronzy 
shade. I'm gonna just fill in my brows a little bit more. The Milani Stay Put 16 Hour Eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Loving it. This is in the shade After Dark. Let me spray the All Nighter, even though I'm not going to be out all night. I'm just going to use it because I haven't used it in so long. LA Girl Cosmetics Shimmer Spray, just to give my face an all over glow. It's the LA Girl Shimmer Spray in gold. I love this stuff, like, let's try this. The MAC Prep Plus Prime. I'm gonna use that for my lips. Oh, and I just, looks, oh, this feels so good. I'm LA Girl Cosmetics Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Chocolate. I mentioned this in the unboxing as well. I'm going to use the Carity Lip Lock in Sugary Sweets. It's a really pretty nude I like. Sweet, I love that. So I'm gonna let that dry down. And while that's drying down, I'm gonna use the um, Thrive Cosmetics. This was in an Ipsy glam bag. I got two of them. My client didn't want hers. <laughs> So I typically get everybody's ipsy things that they don't want, like my clients, and I love it. I'm like, sure, I'll take it. And this is a really good one. Now y'all could totally just, this is a really cute look if you guys wanna just wear it like this. You could definitely do this. No mascara or no lashes, but you know me, I can't. <laughs> I've been mentioning. It is, I'm already wearing a pair of the lashes, but this is her lash book, the Cartier Collection. Check her out. Just pop that baby right on there. I'm going to put these lashes on and then I'm going to be back with the finishing look. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this gloss on for you guys. Oh my God, but I kind of want to stay matte because look at this lip. Okay, now when I put my lashes on y'all, this is, this is crazy. Madness. I am that girl who can use her hand to put on lashes. It's just something that takes a lot of practice and time. But... One way I like to, I love putting on my lashes right as they're wet, which I know they tell you guys to let them dry. But I like letting them dry on the lash line. So I'll just put them right there. I'll just let them sit, you know, wait for a couple minutes and then I will start to move it because sometimes I'll put the lash on too late. So I'll wait for the lash glue to dry, but I've waited too long and then it's too dry. Then I got to reapply glue. So 
little bit more of this liner. Oh, I love this liner already. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna let these lashes dry just a That's little bit. Pretty much like the natural no beat beat. I'm gonna go ahead and use this lip oil because I sent it in the PR and I really wanna use it. I love this matte. So if you are a matte girl, this is like the perfect lip combination. But I'm a gloss girl, so I have to just do gloss. And I'm gonna use this bad boy right here. Let's see. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Oh my God, look, y'all. Look how glossy that is. I'm not playing. Like, they did not come to play with this gloss. Like, okay. It's clear and it has these gold flecks in it. So, the 24K gold lip gloss, you need it in your life, sis. So, I'm so happy I was able to get this look done. I'm just so happy. Like, I put my mind to it and I did it and I'm happy because now I can relax. My son's birthdays are this weekend and I really don't want to waste time doing makeup. <laughs> well, their birthdays are Monday and Tuesday, so I really do not want to, you know get in the way of their birthday celebrations with all my glam going on so I wanted to film this today get it out the way and here we are so that is it for the makeup I am going to hop off here I will be back once my hair is done I'm going to take a couple of photos I hope you guys love the look the makeup look it is again the no makeup makeup look and I am loving it. Yes. I love how this turned out. Yeah. I ended up putting a ponytail in. This ponytail is from insert name here. This is the Mia Pony. And I got about three of these. I got the Brit, the Lola, and the Mia. This was the first one I got and it is still fabulous honey so if you're looking for really good um inexpensive ponytails insert name here is a really good company and i will link the this link i'll either link it in the description box below or it'll be on my um blog post Make her my lady.